Hey ladies and gents, so I had a request from a um, Instagram follower. Uh, she had a question about foundation matching. And actually, let me get her name right now. So I think it's Miss Toy. Let me see. Sorry y'all, should have had it pulled up. Miss Toy 77. So she had a question about foundation meaning how to match it and how to find it and you know things of that sort so I'm just gonna go through a whole whole little tips and trick type uh, thing so let's start with you have to know your undertone you gotta know if, if you fall into the light medium deep dark whatever they want to consider it you need to f you know figure out if you which one of those categories you tend to fall into most of the time so when it comes down to trying to find your right shade that's where i would suggest going first either look at the fair to light medium because medium is always just normally medium or medium dark most of the time or dark deep so me i'm normally medium and most shades and in some because they're so limited i'm actually considered dark deep whatever you want to consider it to be because in revlon i'm pretty uh pretty dark on their scale so a way to find out like when you get to the store and you look at it you need to know one thing first the top thing you need to know is your undertone when it comes down to your undertone you can do that several ways you can figure it out several ways um like when it comes down to your veins and your legs and arms, if you can see them, um, if it tends to be more green, then you'd be warm. If it tends to look blue, you'd be cool. If you can't really tell, kind of looks eh, iffy either way, then you're you're going to mostly be neutral. So that's one way to do that test. I had to write down a couple of things how to find it. Um, jewelry. If you t if your skin pops with gold jewelry and anything like that then you'd be warm. If you tend to wear a lot of silver, platinum, you know, uh, white golds, you have a more cool tone. And uh, that's just the best way to put it, I guess. If you understand what I'm saying, do you get it? Um, so you need to know your undertone. My undertone, I'm very warm. Gold pops on me, although I wear whatever I want sometimes, even if it don't, it may not look right to some people. I just wear what I want, but I tend to look good in gold, even though I like to wear white gold mostly. Browns look awesome on me, um, golds, tans, um, and there's some cool tones that look good on me too, but there's a reason for that. You can look good in cool tones if you're warm because they neutralize each other, so they still give a good effect. It's just, uh, just all depending upon what's going on for real, for real. But, um, oh, or you could be olive. Some people make olive a separate thing, but to me, olive is neutral. So if you kind of have that, because olive means you got like warm and cool. So you kind of got that mixture, which to me will equate to neutral. So once you know your tone, it's easier for you to go in there and then you'd be like, okay, I'm warm and I'm kind of in the middle. So when you see the little display, you be like, okay, let me come up in this area. So it'll narrow down the area that you're looking in. And once you get into that area, if they have testers, I suggest you go somewhere with testers if you are in a place that don't allow returns. Go somewhere with testers and you can get samples. Um, but when you test it, test it here because you want everything to kind of look uniform. You want everything from here to look like it goes together. So it may match here a little bit but you don't want it to be like ghost face you know brown sugar you don't want that to be going on you don't want brown sugar and cotton candy you just don't want that to be really happening you want uniform uniformity and then that's when you go and highlight contour to break it up so you know what's what but you kind of want you want it to look like it's attached to your body of course so you don't want that mask effect so I suggest trying it here and sometimes if you have somewhere because some people have it where their arm or the back of their hand because see 
the back of my hand actually matches me here. So there are times that I will match my stuff on my hands. Everybody can't match their stuff on their hands because some people's hands are, they may be a shade darker. And some people here are a little too light. But I know that my wrist area in here, it helps me find, um, especially my concealers and my foundation, it helps. So you find ways you find where on you matches closely to that if you like say you went in there with foundation on and you don't want us to take foundation off to test it and you can't test foundation on top of foundation because that's just not gonna work um like i say use your jawline find it here find it here or you can try to match it up in here it depends on you it depends on what actually works for you and that's the biggest thing about foundation matching it's what works for you and what fits you. It's no across the board type thing. So we got your shade. I mean, we got your tone. So now you're able to narrow it down. Now there is a way that I know the closest one. Like say there's three shades and they all kind of look the same. Say I'm a caramel and somebody something, right? And somebody else is something. But I'm looking at Revlon and they got all these. And then within those three I happen to see a caramel something I'm going for that caramel because on my if with my experience I'm a lot of people's caramels let me see let me see what's this caramel dream matte mousse or ambers uh, uh, caramels or ambers and what's this one what does it say oh that says Tony that's totally wrong caramel that says classic bronze and my Revlon toast anything of that nature i have like three foundations on that i'm caramel in and i just can't find them right now but i tend to find uh ones that have similar names because i think people try to emulate each other so that it is kind of easier but there's some that don't they just give you numbers and uh those are always the hard ones for me personally now while you're you know once you've narrowed it down if you have an, you know, any apprehension about purchasing it, if you're somewhere that you can't return, ask for a sample. If you can't get a sample, then just buy it and go on with your life. But if you can get a sample, take that sample home because there's it's more than one reason you want a sample. You want a sample to make sure it fits and it matches your skin color. You want to you want to sample it because you want to know how it oxidizes on your skin. You want to sample it because you want to know the wear on it. You want to sample it because you want to know if it's worth whatever it is that you have to pay for it and most of the time i'm not gonna lie if it's a more higher end um foundation you will get a sample drugstores we don't get that option they don't just pass out samples of drugstore foundation so that's the good thing about drugstore though going to the drugstore i have not ran into a store walmart walgreens rite aid uh what's the other one cvs all of them have a return policy as long as you have the receipt and it's within a certain amount of time you're good to go Take it home, try it out. You don't like it? If you don't have the receipt, exchange it. Most of the time they'll let you exchange. Because I've done that at uh, Walgreens, I know for sure. Because some, if you have a loyalty card, you know, to these places, they can pull it up like that. And I have all the loyalty cards. So they can pull them up mostly like that. But if not, like you pay with cash, then you kind of just out of luck. And just see if it depends on the store and the store manager if they'll let you um, exchange. And with my experience, like I said... They always tend to because my thing is they get the product, they get the product back. So it's, it's you know, it's not like, well, I ain't got no foundation. I, I left my foundation here and they got to trust your word that you really left it there and you got to get another one. Something for something type thing. So um, drugstores normally don't have testers. So I don't understand why they don't. But they, they, what I have seen in Walmart is they have the shade match sheets or the shade match mirror. So they try to give you something so you can narrow it down. But to be honest, they normally don't have testers. Luckily, at like Sephora and Ulta and Mac, you can test the mess out of it before you buy it. So if you want to spend just a couple more coins, go ahead to them. But if you're trying to save your money, go ahead to the drugstore. Find one that you think is yours. And if not, return it. And also remember, sometimes your shade is not there. So sometimes you may have to purchase two and mix and match. Like with number seven, the... Number seven uh, cosmetic line, I'm in between two of their colors, so I have to mix. And I love their foundation, so I don't mind doing that. And their foundation, um, you know, I just find it to be of good quality, so I wouldn't mind doing that. Now, it's up to you if you feel like spending 
money on purchasing two foundations instead of one because some of them are $15. So if you're going to pay $30 for two drugstore foundations, you might as well take that $30 and put it towards a MAC, a Lancome, a Clinique, a what, whomever's uh, foundation you want to try, go try it. Because if you're going to spend 30 there, you might as well go ahead and spend that 30 and put it towards a more higher quality, even though that's not always the truth, higher quality um, foundation. Now, if you all would like to know a website, because there was one that I happened to find um, that will help you match your foundations. So say you went on there because it, ha it has you pick a foundation that you wear already. So I'd go in there and I'd say um, Revlon Nearly Naked in the color Caramel. See, Revlon and Maybelline's on Caramel. So I'd be like, um, and Revlon Nearly Naked. Um, 260 caramel and then it'll say match in what like you go down and it, there's another menu find what match and so you put in whatever other brand you're trying to match it to and it can help you narrow it down now with that being said that is what YouTube is for if you watch a youtuber and you feel like y'all may be close in you know color see what's going on there and a lot of time and just just know all my matches are down below so not trying to be rude. Don't ask me my colors because I put it in the description bar of my videos now that all my matches because I try to give someone an idea of if they're in this range across the board, where would they be? You know, in all types of brands. I have Kat Von D. I have concealers, powders, foundation liquids. So just check down there if you're trying to figure out if you happen to be somewhere close to this. Now, um... What was I saying? Oh, watch someone. First off, get their opinion about the type of foundation it is. And then, if they're not quite your color, um, find someone who is, I guess. It's not too hard. I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers. There's a lot of shades, a lot of ethnicities. So, I'm telling y'all, y'all find somebody who's around your color. And if not, there's an easier way, too. There, well, there's another way. If you like to go to Sephora... What you do is you go in there and they have a match machine. If you just totally just want to give up on it, just go ahead and have them match you because they, they wipe this little um tool off, put it on your face, and it's electronic. So it pulls all the shades that they have in store that matches you. And bada bing, bada boom, your search is over. All they do is test them to make sure that it's true because most of the time, I'd say, every time I went in there, it was pretty dead on. So you do that and you'll find it there. And if you still just don't want to pay for it, have them give you the samples after they match you. And they will give you all the samples you want. I go back periodically, different hair, different makeup, no makeup, and I just get samples. Let me show y'all something. Full of samples from Sephora. I don't play. That's how I know what I want when I do have money, what I want to buy and what I don't want to buy. So, trust your girl. She'll spend all that money on that. Because there's some foundations like a Lancome. Okay, look, I'm about to be real like right now. Okay, y'all be for real. The Lancome, I bought it. And it was something just wasn't right about it. So before I returned it, because it was still within the time frame. I mean, they already know I used it. I had put it. it trust me, it's not this full. It's because it was laying on the side. I put like this much in there. So I was like, okay. I gave myself a sample of it to try again later. I ain't telling y'all to be that way. Okay. I ain't trying to tell y'all how to sneak and do that. I just happened to do that with that one because I was like, I need to try this again. Maybe it's just something about me right now that's not working with it. So I put it to the side for another day. But I returned it. They already know it was open and I tried it and everything. So you do what works for you, boo. Okay, this mommy's on a budget. I got four babies. I can't just run around and go buy stuff like I want to all the time. So if there's anything I did not cover, just let me know. But I believe I got, oh, there's a website. The one I was talking about matching it is www.matchmymakeup.com. I'll put it in the description bar as well. So if there's anything else to ask, put it down there. I think I covered all the bases. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.